hello. I'm Dr. Fletcher, and I'm the chief scientist here at the Miniaturization Center. Now, I'm sure you're all aware that our health is constantly being challenged by viruses, bacteria, and various other microorganisms. Here, you see the body's white blood cells being mobilized to attack invading bacteria. With miniaturization, it is now possible to go into the body aboard vehicles like this and actually witness immune system activities firsthand. Now, we do this for two reasons. One, by directly observing the immune system, we are gaining valuable knowledge in the war against disease. Two, we're now able to perform once impossible operations from inside the body. So as not to endanger our civilian observers, you'll be assigned to a routine mission in the subskin region, a relatively safe area in the body. Don't worry, there will be plenty for you to see.
today we have a fleet of four body work shows, sending miniaturized medical teams into the body on a daily basis. From all of us here at the center, congratulations on becoming part of our miniaturization program. We're sure that you'll be amazed by your mission into the body, and we hope that you enjoy and learn from your journey today. You have now reached your body probe boarding area. As your control officer, I'd like to give you some important information about your mission. This is Dr. Cynthia Lair, one of our foremost immunologists. Ten minutes ago, she was miniaturized and beamed to the site of a splinter in the right index finger of a volunteer. Her objective is to conduct tests on the immune system's response to that splinter. You will be on board body probe Bravo 229er. Your mission will take you to the location of that splinter. Once there, your probe will rendezvous with Dr. Lair and bring her out. I'm attempting to contact Dr. Lair right now. We'll see if we can get a report on how her experiment is proceeding. Dr. Lair, this is Mission Control. Your recovery team is with me. Can you tell us how your experiment has been going? Fantastic. The mission has been a complete success. Can you give our observers a brief description of your objectives? Sure. I'm here to study the inflammatory response of the neutrophils as they react to invading bacteria. In layman's terms, please, Dr. Lair. Simply speaking, I'm here to observe the speed and effectiveness of the white blood cells as they rush to protect the body from infection. Thank you, Dr. Lair. Bravo 229er will be on its way shortly to pick you up. See you soon. I'd now like to introduce you to your pilot, a person who has been with this program since its inception. Captain, are you ready? Hello, everyone. I'm Captain Braddock. I'm glad you'll be joining me aboard Bravo 229er. Captain, how are your pre-launch preparations going? I'm almost clear for launch here. Control, let's see. Field reversers on. Check. Life support systems activated. Check. Fuel cells full and functioning. Check. Folks, I need to make one final radio check with Dr. Lair, and we're just about set to go. Hello, Dr. Lair. This is Captain Braddock aboard Bravo 229er. How's the weather in there? Clear and warm, Captain. About 98.6. Actually, it's a little warmer by the infection site. Very good. Over. Well, friends, we're about ready for launch. But before you board, I'm going to give you back to mission control so you can get some final instructions. At this time, we ask that you please pay attention to this important boarding information. When the probe doors have opened, please proceed directly into the vehicle and all the way across your aisle, filling in every available seat. For your protection, all observation team members are required to wear safety restraints throughout the mission. To fasten the restraint, pull the strap out from the right side of the seat and snap it into the buckle on your left. Mission Control specifies that all carry-on items be safely stowed beneath your seat. To maintain the required cleanliness for a mission of this kind, smoking is prohibited. And while on board, we ask that you refrain from using flash photography. Your vehicle, Bravo 229er, is now ready. Please begin immediate boarding and have a safe and informative journey.
Hello again, everyone. We'll be getting underway momentarily. Bravo 229er, are you ready to initiate launch? That is affirmative control. All systems go. Begin initial reduction sequence. Reduction sequence begun. We're now approaching the miniaturization room. The technicians will focus a particle beam on our ship. Particle reducer, engage. Roger. Entry depth set at 200 microns. Bravo 229er, begin reduction mode. Now, three, two, one. Hold on, everybody. Control, this is Bravo 229. We're under the skin. Everything looks fine. Roger. Folks, directly in front of us is a group of white blood cells on their way to destroy the splinter. There it is now. Dr. Lair, we are experiencing some turbulence. I advise you to come aboard immediately. In a minute, Captain. I need to take one more cell count. Roger, we're standing by. We're gathering a lot of valuable information here. I hope they Mayday. Dr. Lair, are you okay? Mayday! I'm being pulled into a capillary. Hang on, I'm coming in. Ready, what's going on? I'm in the vein. Dr. Lair needs help. Get her on board that ship, Captain. I'm being pulled! Run the horse! Brennan, watch the pressure your ship to be crushed. I'm being pressed into We're right behind you! That should be good. First, we're shutting down to half power. I know, we lost our fuel cell. Gotta get out of there. You're heading for the lion, Captain. Air current is extremely hazardous. I have no chance of... mission this place has ever seen. Congratulations. Thank you, Control. Uh, folks, you can unlatch your safety belt by pushing the button on your left. Please exit the ship to your right. Don't forget your personal belongings. And welcome home. <laughs> 